Good morning, grandkids. I forgot in the last episode that I had my webcam on and it wasn't supposed to be on. Uh, so please don't think that that's the start of something new. It's not. All right, Anigo, we're ready to go into White River. Hello, Jerry. Jerry. Grandma, is that you? Where are you? I'm here, dear. I so wanted to be with you and see your house. Uh, it looks lovely from the outside. Oh, Grandma, I really wanted to show it to you. You'll have to come by again when we're home. Um, I'm sorry that I missed you there. Well, I was talking with a very lost soul, trying to keep them from slipping away into oblivion. And I just couldn't make it, dear. Oh, that's all right, Grandma. That's a good cause. Uh, we're getting ready to go into this mine, and there's going to be some really bad things in there. And I don't want you to go in there with this. Okay, I won't, dear. I just wanted to let you know that I missed you at the house. All right, Grandma. We'll see you later. Bye. Come on, Inigo. Let's get in here and see what's happening. I don't know if I should have my... I don't know what I should equip. I usually always start out with my bow. Let's get in sneak. You ready? Let's go. White River Watch. Ooh. What's with that guy? doing? I think he hears us. Hmm. What's he reading? The book is full of nothing. like he's blind. His head moved when I stood up like he could see me, but I really don't think he can. Hey, here's some leeks we can take back to the house for cooking. I didn't want the basket. He didn't say anything to us. Let's go see what's happening in this cave. What's that? Take that? This is quite nice for a cave. You think so? I've seen better. Well, you have too. Let me give you some. Anigo, I just love your face. Alright, let's go up here. I'm going to get in sneak again because I don't know what's up here. Oh, I hear somebody. up there.
That basket doesn't even have a bottom. You can see those pebbles in the dirt. Well, I, there I went and took a basket again. I wanted mushrooms, but I guess I can't have them. Ah. Mushrooms aren't over there either. I could sell that for a helmet. I'm certainly not going to let you put it on your head. You're too cute like you are. I don't want to step on your tail. Looky there, Anigo. Killed him with one shot. Oh, I better get that down and put this. Over here. Oh. Huh. Oh, you're gonna go. All right. They are better off this way. They're better off this way. Okay. There's another fur hat. Helmet. The cake and the diamond. I've never read that. Let's take that home and read it, Anigo. We can sit by the fire and I'll read it to you. Oh. Ooh. That's all. That is all. What's over here? Okay. Oh, look. Money. And some leather strips. I don't want that. What's that? Hide bracers. Okay. Yeah. Shall we continue up? Ah! Oh, here's another dead one. We can take them home and make potato soup. Oh, I'm glad nobody was standing up there to see us. Maybe I better get my bow out in case somebody walks out up there. Why? I always wonder why in places like this they have kids' clothes. Sounds kind of creepy to me. Explorer's Guide to Skyrim. Don't I have one of those? I think I do. Hope for the Red Room. I've read that. What is that? A pickaxe. I got that. Okay. Oh, there's a chest. Look, Anigo. 37 coin in there.
Yeah, I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, Excuse go. Excuse me, my friend. Go some more. Yeah. I don't want to do anything here right now. What do you think we're getting into, Aniko? Do you want to play us a little tune? No? Oh. <gasps> I hope nobody heard me throw that bucket all the way over there. I see you hiding behind there, coin purse. Oh my gosh. Got her in one shot. Oh, I can level up. Oh, I missed that totally. Well, if you'll stay out there, you'll find out if somebody's here. Oh my goodness. I hope that was the same too. Oh my goodness, look at them all. <coughs> Cute little roll you do there. What does this do? Oh, it opens that cage over there. What's in it? And you took care of a bunch of Manigo. in here. There might be a bottle of potion back there, but I'm not going to go in to find out. There's something in there, and I'm not going to let it out, and I'm not going to go in.
that big ol' axe. I hope that was all of them. These mushrooms have already been picked, but we have not been in here. I don't know who picked them. some mushrooms down there. Can I get them? <laughs> iron ore. I don't want to be mining any iron ore. Nico, why do you always have me lead the way? You know that if anything happens, I will die first. Well, thank you. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Are we going out now? White River Overlook. Well, that wasn't a very long cave have much in it either except bandits. Uh oh. Is someone there? In the neck like that, that usually kills them. Why won't you die? Let's see if I can get you in the knee. <laughs> that one did it. It's a pretty big split in the floor. Looky there. It's empty. Somebody's been here before us. Oh, I remember this tree. I've been here. Jari hasn't been here. But there was a picture taken right here. Where are you, Anigo? You're missing the nighttime sky. Where are you? You was. There you are. There you are. Was you stuck in here? Come on. you are. Alright, we're going to have fast travel home because I don't want to try to climb down off of here with you. Uh, let's go back to the house and dump this stuff and then we can go to uh, shall we go to White Watch Tower and just start out through this way? Riverside Lodge.
That was kind of exciting. And you go that... Oh, we can get out of this, dear. And put these away. That was kind of exciting that uh, Grandma's spirit came and found us. I'm sorry she missed the tour of the house, but that's okay. She'll be back. All I want to do is dump everything right here. This is everything in my pack. Take off? No. Oh, that's what's in the chest. You silly jury. What did I pick up? Store and store. Throw all this stuff in there. Uh, I got some ingredients, didn't I? Yes. Can I? Put all no. I wish they had a store all. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh, we picked up an amethyst. Are we still we're still carrying to pick that up? Close. And a stupid plate. And books. Put that away. We're going to read that for sure. Would you like, since it's night outside, would you like to do that now? I shall read you the cake and the diamond. Let's go somewhere where it's warm. And sit by the fire. If I know how to make you sit and me sit at the same time. Something on your mind? Mm -hmm. I need you to do something. What would you have me do? I would like I for you to go over if I can. here and sit. Well, actually, I'd like for you to sit over there. Good idea. There you go. Now, I'm going to sit here. How do I get out of... Uh, oh. I never remember how to do this. Ah, this is nice. Yes, it is. Now I'm going to sit here. All right. And I shall read to you. Okay, the cake and the diamond. By Ethan Wendell. I wonder who that is. I was in the rat and pot, <laughs> a foreigner corner club in Aldroon, talking to my fellow rats when I first saw the woman. Now, Breton women are fairly common in the rat and the pot. As a breed, they seem inclined to wander far from their perches in High Rock. The Breton women? Perch in High Rock? Strange. Old Breton women, however, are not so migratory. And the wizened old Biddy drew attention to herself, wandering about the room, talking to everyone. Nimloth and Odiad were at their usual places, 
drinking their usual stuff. Odiad was showing off a prize he had picked up in some illicit manner, a colossal diamond, large as a baby's hand and clear as spring water. I was admiring it when I heard the creaking of old bones beside me. Good day to you, friends, said the old woman. My name is Abel Abella Credit, and I'm in need of financial assistance to facilitate my transportation to Old Ladena. You'll want to see the temple for set charity, said Nimleth curtly. I'm not looking for charity, said Abella. I'm looking to barter services. Don't make me sick, old woman, laughed Odiad. Did you say your name was Abella Credit? I asked. Are you related to Abella Credit, the High Rock Alchemist? Closely related, she said with a cackle. We are the same person. Perhaps I could prepare you a potion in exchange for gold. I noticed that you have in your possession a very fine diamond. The magical qualities of diamonds are boundless. Sorry, old woman, I ain't giving it up for magic. It was trouble enough stealing this one, said Odin. I've got a fence who'll trade it for gold. But your fence? will demand a certain percentage, will he not? What if I could give you a potion of invisibility in exchange? In return for that diamond, you could have the means to steal many more. A very fair exchange of services, I would say. It would be, but I have no gold to give you, said Odiad. I'll take what remains of the diamond after I've made the potion, said Abella. If you took it to the Mage's Guild, you'd have to supply all the other ingredients and pay for it as well. But I learned my craft in the wild, where no potion makers existed to dissolve diamonds into dust. When you must do it all by hand, by simple skill, you are blessed with remnants of those fool potion makers at the Guild simply swallow up. That sounds all very nice said Nimleth, but how do we know your potion, potion is going to work? If you make one potion, take the rest of Odiad's diamond and leave, we won't know until you've gone whether the potion works or not. Ah, trust is so rare these days, sighed Abella. I suppose I could make two potions for you, and there'd still be a little bit of diamond left for me. Not a lot, but perhaps enough to get me to all Redania. Then you could try the first potion right here and now and see if you're satisfied or not. But I interjected, you could make one potion that works and one that doesn't and take more of the diamond. She could even show you a slow acting poison and by the time she got to old Redania, You'd be dead. Bleeding Kenneth, you Dunmer are suspicious. I will hardly have any diamond left, but I could make two potions of two doses each so you can satisfy yourself that the potion works and has no negative effects. If you still don't trust me, come along with me to my table and witness my craft if you'd like. So it was decided that I would accompany Abella back to her table, where she had all her traveling bags full of herbs and minerals to make certain that she was not making two different potions. It took nearly an hour of preparation, but she kindly allowed me to finish her half-filled flagon of wine while I watched her work. Splintering the diamond and powdering the pieces required the bulk of the time. Over and over again, she waved her gnarled hands over the gem, intoning ancient enchantments, breaking the facets of the stone into smaller and smaller pieces. Separately, she made paste of minced bitter green, crushed red bulbs of Delarco Spe, and driblets of 
Salidian oil. I finished the wine. Old woman, I finally said with a sigh, how much longer is this going to take? I'm getting tired of watching you work. The Mages Guild has fooled the populace into thinking alchemy is a science, she said. But if you're tired, rest your eyes. My eyes closed, seemingly of their own volition. But there had been something in that wine, something that made me do what she asked. I think I'll make up the potion's cakes. It's much more potent that way. Now tell me, young man, what will your friends do once I give them the potion? Mug you in the street afterwards to retrieve the rest of the diamond, I said simply. I didn't want to tell the truth, but there it was. I thought so, but I wanted to be certain. You may open your eyes now. I opened my eyes. Abella had made a small presentation on a wooden platter, two small cakes, and a silver cutting knife. Pick up the cakes and bring them to the table, said Abella, and don't say anything except to agree with whatever I say. I did as I was told. It was a curious sensation. I didn't really mind being her puppet. Of course, in retrospect, I resent it, but it seemed perfectly natural at the time to obey without question. Abella handed the cakes to o Odiad, and I dutifully verified that both cakes were made the same way. <laughs> As if he would know, because he went to sleep. She suggested that he cut one of the cakes in half, and she would take one piece, and he'd take the other, just so he would know that they worked and worked poisoned. Odiad thought it was a good idea and used Abella's knife to cut the cake. Abella took the piece on the left and popped it into her mouth. Odiad took the piece on the right and swallowed it more cautiously. Abella and all the bags she was carrying vanished from sight almost instantly. Nothing happened to Odiad. Why did it work for the witch and not for me, cried Odiad. Because the diamond dust was only on the left-hand side of the blade, said the old chemist through me. I felt her control lessening as the distance grew, and she hurriedly invisibly down the dark Aldrin street away from the rat and the pot. We never found a Bella credit or the diamond. Whether she completed her pilgrimage to Old Redden is anyone's guess. The cakes had no effect except to give Odia a bad case of droops that lasted for nearly a week. Oh my goodness, what a sad tale. Did you like that? I need to go. I like to read to you. All right, shall we go out and wander about or shall we sleep for the rest of the night and uh, start in the morning? Uh, come on. What is on your mind? Follow me. Come on, legs. We are on the move again. <laughs> your poor legs, amigo. I'm so sorry. We'll go to bed and take a rest. All right. That will make you feel better. Here's your bedroom. Yeah. Here. You want to talk? Yeah, I need you to do something. What would you have me do? How can I help you, my friend? Sleep in the bed. It will be done. Because I know you're tired. Okay, lead the way. No, 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 no. No, stay there. Stay there. Mm hmm. What would you have me do? I will aid you if Get I can. Get back in the bed. Whatever you say. 
I am sorry. That is beyond me. Now. Can I see? Good idea. Oh! Do you want me to wait here? Fair enough. Rest how long? Let's start out in about eight hours. Alright, grandkids. That will be the end of this video. And uh, when we are through sleeping and... Oh, hi. Was you here all night? You didn't like it down there? Well, okay. <laughs> Are you ready? We shall start a new adventure, grandkids. In the next video, we shall start wandering the rift. Good night, grandkids. <laughs>